So that's the tent all set up. Back in my MSR Lexi 2 uh, tent this time around. Uh, just when we having Poppy again, back in the uh, two-man tent, which really enjoy using. Loads of space in there for, for me and her. And uh, yeah, just a, an easy tent to put up. And uh, it's not the most lightweight tent I've got, but um, I'm using this on a five-day canoe trip coming up. So I wanted to give it a run out again before I took it on that trip. So yeah, back in that tonight. Stunning location to camp on this little beach here uh, at the end of this lock, which is um, fairly remote, tucked away up here in Scotland. And um, yeah, a bit of a difficult hike to get into. Uh, with well, the route I picked anyway, um, quite boggy in places, to skirt on the edge of the forest and then uh, I had to do a bit of a small river crossing as well. So I didn't do too much filming and the clouds were coming over quite dark and grey as well so it looked like it was going to rain so I was pretty keen to get here and get the tent set up as quick as I could. It hasn't rained yet and the forecast was, was to be nice and bright this afternoon so I'm hoping uh, some of these clouds might lift and we might get a bit of sun uh, later today. But yeah, that's the tent all set up. I'm going to get some firewood collected. I'm going to have a nice uh, fire on the beach out here tonight. Uh, I've got a steak to cook up and a beer to have with it as well. So looking forward to that. Um, so I'm going to do that now. See what firewood I can gather from around this beach here. There's a little bit down here on, on the beach, so should be enough for what I need tonight. And then I'm going to put the fishing gear together. i um, got some new lures to try out and then I'm going to try a few different spots around the lock here and do a bit of fishing for a few hours uh, this afternoon. No joy with the fishing yet, um, but the wind just picked up. It's coming right at us, which is making um, casting out quite difficult. So I think what I'm going to do now is make my way back to camp, get my little gas stove out, and uh, make a cup of coffee up.
So I've just hiked up onto a bit of a rocky outcrop behind the camp here, just to give you guys a better view of where we're camping tonight. So you can probably see the tent just down here on the beach there that runs along this end of the lock. Just a small little beach. But yeah, the tent's just down there. But yeah, you can see out there, fairly small lock, but yeah, pretty nice. Tree line to one side with a, with a forest behind it and then the mountains off to the distance. So yeah, really nice place to, to spend an evening. And the sun's just come out, still a bit windy, but the sun's uh, coming out, so hopefully we'll be in for a nice evening. So tonight we've got ourselves a nice sirloin steak, we're going to cook that up on the, uh, on the grill. We've got some instant mashed potatoes which we need to boil some water for uh, to go with that. But also I've got these beautiful homegrown organic carrots. My wife grew these in our allotment and uh, picked these for me yesterday. So yeah, really looking forward to trying these out. Uh, should make a nice meal. And finally, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Seasoned Pioneers. They were kind enough to send me some of these different seasonings to try out and I believe this Caribbean adobo spice rub um, it's supposed to be really nice on steak so looking forward to trying that tonight There we have it, nice sirloin steak, some homegrown carrots and some instant mashed potato as well. So yeah, it looks like a nice tasty meal. Pretty hungry now, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy this for a little bit. So the bugs are out in force now. The wind's died off. The sun's just dipped behind the hills over there in the distance. Just as I sat down with a beer, and we'll have to get up and keep on the move again, or maybe put my bug jacket on shortly. Uh, I'll have to unzip the tent up as well. But yeah, you might have noticed on this trip, I've just cooked up a nice steak there. And the reason I brought that uh, this time around is because I was recently tagged in a Shorzy Steak video. And I was tagged by Craig 
over at East Anglian Bushcraft. Um, he's keep, obviously keeping the message alive and the whole whole um, challenge was set by Hazy at Hazy Outdoors maybe two years ago or so. So I've been seeing it doing the rounds ever since and it's good that people like Craig are, are keeping the message alive. So I'm going to try and do my, my bit now to, to encourage anyone to um, speak out if you've got any mental health issues and uh, get the help that you might need. And um, yeah, if you've got friends and your family, just a bloody hell. <laughs> Any friends, any family you might have that you can reach out to and speak to and get the help that you um, that you need, then uh, I urge you to do that. But also, there's loads of great charities out there. One of them being Mind. Uh, they do a lot of work with uh, people who are struggling, so reach out to them, and, uh, they'll, and they'll help you 100%. And if you're not sure where to get their information from, I'll put the link to their website in my video description. So it'll be there for, for you to go and click on, and, and hopefully that'll get you to where you need to be. But yeah. I'd say one in four people struggle with mental health, nothing to be ashamed of. Um, so I've struggled with it in the past myself, and I'm quite fortunate that I've got my wife to rely on. And um, yeah, but also a big thing for me is being out here, being out in nature, and just taking all this in, apart from the bugs when they're horrific like this. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a good good for the mind and just being out here and say taking the scenery in. And if you've not tried it, then I urge you to to get out. Maybe not in summer in Scotland with all these bugs, but if you can go to your local park. Um, or at the beach even, or just a nice walk out in nature somewhere, it'll help you massively and uh, yeah, I urge anyone who has not tried that to do it and I'm sure it'll help you out. But yeah, nothing to be ashamed of, uh, let's just get people talking about it and um, yeah, get people talking about it and getting the help that they need. But yeah, huge, huge shout out to Craig over at East Anglian Bushcraft and Hazy over at Hayes Outdoors for, for starting it and for, for keeping the message going. But for me, I'm not going to tag three people in. I'm going to leave it as an open invitation for anyone watching this video and you think you've got the platform there to keep the message alive, Instagram, YouTube, that sort of thing, um, then yeah, feel free to, to go out and do your part and hopefully keep the message going. And uh, if you do do it based on this video, then please tag me in. I'll, I'd love to see what you do with it and uh, what you cook up. It doesn't have to be a steak, you cook anything you want. Um, and yeah, just um, go out there, spend a bit of time in nature film it, spread the word, and yeah, hopefully get a few more people the help that they might need. But for now I'm going to put my bug jacket on, because I'm going to absolutely eating alive here, try and finish this beer off, and I think we'll go and do a bit of fishing for a few more hours before it gets uh, completely dark. So I've just got the fire relit. Just gonna sit by that for a little while now. Finish that beer off. Didn't get a chance to finish it earlier on with the swarms and midges attacking me. But yeah, I did a bit more fishing. No joy, unfortunately. Plenty of fish rising. Um, but yeah, and no takers yet, but we'll try again first thing in the morning. So yeah, fire's going nicely now. I'm gonna sit by that for a little bit and then uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning.
Morning everyone, woke up to a pretty bleak morning today, just spitting at the minute. I've just checked my uh, weather forecast on my Garmin inReach and it looks like we've got some bad weather coming in. It was forecast to be heavy rain this afternoon in this area but it looks like it's coming in early so I've packed camp away. I've got a few bits left to put in my backpack and then we start, and we start hiking out of here. But yeah, this morning just got up, uh, relit that fire, cooked up some sausages on my frying pan and then uh, had a nice cup of coffee as well and sat and enjoyed that for a little bit. And yeah, we had a bit of rain during the night as well and um, thankfully things weren't too wet this morning, it must have only been a light shower. Um, but yeah, you can see where the tent's been and the sand's all wet. But yeah, enjoy breakfast, uh, enjoy that nice cup of coffee, uh, but it's time to start hiking out of here, especially now the wind's dropped off a little bit. Uh, the bugs are picking up and um, pestering me and Poppy. But yeah, just to finish the video off, and as I mentioned yesterday, um, if you are struggling with your mental health, please reach out to somebody and get the help that you might need. Uh, there's no shame in it and yeah just um, let's all continue to spread the word and um, do the best we can to help people so my uh, my door's always open if you want to reach out and speak to me then uh, please feel free to do that and I'll get back back to you the best I can so that's it from me and Poppy she's just running about the beach here hope you enjoyed the video we had a good night last night and this morning I really enjoyed it beautiful location never gonna get tired of coming up in this area and exploring different locks There's plenty of them to explore and, and check out so yeah really Really enjoy coming up here, and uh, definitely works makes the uh, the drive all worthwhile. So yeah, that's pretty much it from us. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and we will both up to see you on the next video.